Hello, I'm Joshua Farnsworth and welcome to my workshop. And now you're not going to believe this, but I'm finally finished with this desk, the desk build series that we've been working on. I took uh, quite a long time to do it because it was kind of something on the side. I'd promised my kids that I'd build this for them, my two boys, oldest boys, for Christmas about two years ago, and I decided this year uh, I'm going to uh, not film all the remaining details of me working on this because it wasn't a whole lot left. I'm just going to finish it for Christmas. So I finished it for Christmas and got it all finished. You can see there's some scratches on it. They've been using it. They, they loved it. It's been great. Uh, let me show you a few things that I did uh, just to wrap this up. As you can see, I uh, obviously painted it after I did everything. I, I uh, did some experimenting here, and I, if I get enough interest from everybody, let me know if you want to learn about this. But I did some experimenting with like a, a chalk-based paint, which uh, you're adding plaster to uh, a flat matte paint to get it even more flat and also to dry a little bit harder and some other benefits of it. It's really popular with, uh, with ladies, and I, I figured, well, let me give this a try. And I actually quite liked the results. Uh, so let me know if you, if you want to learn more about that in the comment section below the blog post, and I'll, uh, I'll do a little video tutorial on that. Uh, but as you can see, the dovetails still pop out through the paint. It's really nice. Uh, I finished the breadboard ends, which was one of the last videos I had, I had done. You can see the breadboard end top. It looks really nice. And I also uh, added some hardware here, some hinges. Typically on these, historically, you'll find the hinges inside. But some, some of them, especially when you have more decorative hinges like this, like what I wanted, the hinges are actually on the out, outside. And I think it looks really nice. I've, and I'll uh, share a link of, of where I got these hinges because I know I'm going to be asked. So uh, let's see. I did that, and I added some nice trim here upside down so that it, uh, I guess, kind of like some little shoe molding type trim to make, to separate the top from the bottom. It just looks really nice, I think. And I added some of it as well right here uh, to hold pencils and books and everything. Uh, let's see what else. Uh, the legs, I had originally wanted to go with uh, kind of a, a straight leg style like I had seen on some furniture at Colonial Williamsburg. Uh, as you'd probably seen this last time, it had straight legs. Uh, but I decided that uh, I didn't, it didn't really work really well, uh, and I wanted to have the tapered legs. So um, it's much, much easier, <laughs> just so you know, to taper legs before you assemble them and everything. But uh, I found that by putting it on the ground and getting it uh, on, on some wood and, and getting it tightened down just right, I was able to plane down these legs and get them looking a lot more a lot more uh, dainty and I don't know just uh, just the taper looks a lot nice it's hard to explain uh, trying to think if there's anything else uh, probably not but uh, I just think this was has been a really great project and I thank you all for following following me on this we've learned a lot of valuable lessons from dovetails to cutting table legs with mortise and tenon beading uh, breadboard ends uh what else there might have been s some other lessons because there's been a lot of videos but i wanted this project to be something not just to help you build it but to give you all these different skills of the different joinery and the different things so that you can not just build this but build other tables and other desks and and things like that i just really want to thank you for following along on this and encourage you to go out and build this desk or build something similar if you didn't get to see how it was, how, how I built this, go through and start with the first video and you can work your way through all those videos. So uh, I hope you had a happy new year's and uh, here's to 2017. Thanks for watching. If you're interested in learning traditional woodworking with hand tools, visit my website at woodandshop.com where you can find free video tutorials, buying guides and reviews. Make sure you subscribe to my regular blog posts and also check out my 10 steps for getting started. Enjoy.